Hi everyone. So welcome to the another video of Postman series. Okay. So today uh, we'll see how to run our Postman collection in CI with Postman API. Okay. So I mean there are so many ways like we can run our Postman collections uh, by using the Postman collection runner window, right? So uh, it, where you can go to your Postman and you click on this runner button, and you can click on this runner from the collection runner, right? So similarly, we have two, three options when uh, when it's come to the CLI. So you can use the Newman library, which is a node-based library. You have to install the Newman first. I mean, before that, you have to install the Node.js. After that, you have to install the Newman globally. Then we will use this command, right? So Newman run and whatever the collections that we have, JSON file, that we'll pass, that will execute our collection and it will give the result, right? So this is a one another way. And when you see this uh, CA with the Postman API, right? So for continuous integration, it's a development practice that requires the developer regularly manage the code and update into the shared repository, right? So by using this CA with the Postman API also, we can run our Postman collection. So we'll see that in our today topic, okay? So for that one, what we have to do, first we have to install the Node.js. Make sure, I mean, you are downloading the Node.js uh, from the Node.js website. And after that, I mean, it's very simple installation. So you have to click on next, next, that you will get installed automatically. Okay. Once that is Node.js installation done, you can verify the Node.js version by going to, I mean, uh, typing to uh, node type when we in the command, I mean, terminal. Okay. Our command prompt, you can go and you can type, you can get the version, right? So the next step would be, you have to first step, it is installing a Node.js. Second step would be installing a Newman. Okay. So for installing a Newman, this is the command that we have to pass, npm. I, I stand for install newman hyphen z. So we are installing the newman globally to our system. Okay, so when you put on enter, it will automatically download all the required libraries or dependencies uh, from the Node.js model. Okay, I mean the NPM registry. Okay, once this is done, so which means uh, we have installed the Node.js, I mean Node.js. After that, we have installed the newman. So now we can simply type uh, newman hyphen v, which will give you the newman version. Okay, so here we have installed the Neiman version 5.2.2, right? So that is what we are expecting here to see. So yeah, so here you can see it is coming as a 5.2.2, right? So after that, what we have to follow, we have to run our Neiman collection. So for running our Neiman collection by using this um, Postman API, right? So you have to generate one API key, as well as you have to pass your collection UID. Okay, so how do we take this UID and how do we take this Postman API key? Okay, so these are the two things that we require. So we have to identify our collection ID, UID, and we have to identify our API key. We have to generate our Postman API key. So we'll see this first API, uh, how to generate this uh, UID, collection UID, right? So when you go here, here you can see this is a Postman API. Okay, so this is where you can get your all collection UID. Okay, this is an endpoint that we have to use. So that will give you the response of like this. Okay, so this is the response that you will, for example, if you have n number of collections that will give in the array. Okay, this is a UID. UID for the, this is a collection name. Okay, so now we'll, for generating this collection, I mean, collection UID, you have to go to this endpoint. Okay, this is an enforcement endpoint where you can see all the endpoints. Like if you want to see uh, API lifecycle, this is API lifecycle. Okay, so if you want to create one uh, new workspace, so this, this is the endpoint that you have to call. Okay. So for calling this endpoint, API key is must. So whatever the whatever the API uh, available here, you have to generate some uh, Postman API key with, that is the authentication, right? So that is the authentication key that API, I mean Postman provide. Okay, so that you can send as a part of uh, header. So this is a key that you have to pass. If you are if you are trying to pass as a query param, then you have to use this API key. Okay. So now we have to generate, I mean, we have to uh, take our collection UID as well as uh, this Postman API key. So first thing we have to get this API key. So how do we get this API key? Simply go to your Postman account. Okay, so this is my Postman account. Okay, so come here and you have option called. So you have to go to your profile first. Okay, so you can go to the account setting. So in the account setting, so you have an option called Postman API keys, right? So this is my account. Okay, so here I have to come, I have to click on this generate API key. Okay, so you can you can give any name, any name. Okay, so test key. After that, click on this generate API key. It will generate one key like this. Okay, so I will copy this one. I have copied this one. I will come back to my uh, endpoint. Okay, 
So this is the endpoint that we have to use to get our collection UID. Okay, so I will copy this endpoint from here. Okay, where is that endpoint? Yeah, here it is. This is the endpoint for getting all your collections that you have created in your Postman. Okay, I will copy this endpoint. I will go to my Postman. Okay, so if I simply make this call, it will get paid because I'm not passing any authentication key, right? So here you can see authentication array, invalid API key. So we have to pass this API key, right? So whatever we have generated, this is a key that we have to pass to the postman. Okay, so here you can pass as a getter as well as you can pass as a query param. Okay, we'll see both. Okay, as part of uh, getter, what we have to do, we have to base that value here. And what is the key that we have to pass? This is a key, right? So X hyphen API hyphen key. I will copy this one. I will I will paste it here. So when I send this request, it will work fine. Okay. So in the response, you can see all the collections, whatever I have. So training is one collection name I have, right? So training as well as file upload, uh, Twitter API, all the collections name are coming here. Okay. So now I want to run this particular API. I mean this collection, right? So this collection is coming as a A collection. This is the collection name, and this is respective U UID. I mean this is ID and this is a UID, and this is coming as a owner ID. I mean, owner ID is my, my ID. Okay. So this is a UID that we have to take that we have to pass it in the our new man run. Okay. So this is a new man run command, right? So new man run, you have to give this uh, particular endpoint and you have to give this collection UID as well as API key. So in the API key, here they are using in the query param. So for example, um, getting this one, right? So we have used this API key in the header. So similarly, I will copy this API key. I will uncheck this one. I will pass as a query param. Okay. So here the key is API key. Okay. So that will get appended to the. Yeah. So here you can see my key is appended, right? So when I make this request, it will work fine. I could see all the collections, whatever I have in my in postman. I could see all the response, right? So what next? So we have generated the key now, right? So next thing is we, we got this collection UID also. So for this one, we have to copy this URL to run our collection. Okay. So we'll build the collection. I mean, we'll build the URL now. Okay. This is a URL that we have copied. And what is the collection ID? So this is my collection ID. I'm trying to run this collection, A collection, which has uh, four requests. Okay. So I will copy this collection. I mean, uh, UID. I will come here. I will replace here. Okay, so after that, what we have to pass, we have to pass this API key, right? So, one second. So this is my uh, collection UID, and after that, we have to pass the Postman API key that we generated now. Okay, so I will copy the API key. This is a API key, and I will paste it here. Okay, so now our key is ready, and our collection UID also UID also ready. So now we have to execute this command. Okay, I will simply copy this one. So before that, what we have to apply, we have to put the new man, I mean, run command, right? So there's a basic command that we apply, new man run, and we have to pass this command. I mean, this URL, whatever we have, right? So here you can see this is a URL. Okay, it's not completely copied, one second. Okay, I will copy this entire line. Okay, it is coming in the two line. That's the reason we are not able to run this one. Yeah, so now it looks clear. Okay, so here what we are passing. Okay, again I made a mistake. We have to pass the new man run. Right, so new man run. This is a, I mean, a API, a postman collection API, and this is an ID, and I'm appending my API key also, right? So I here forget to put this uh, question mark query param. Okay, so this is how this look. This is a command for running your postman collection CI with the postman API. Okay, so when I put on enter here, so now you can see the collection will automatically run. So we will have four requests. Let's see if it is running or not. 
I have clicked on the enter. Now you can see it started. So I will expand this one. Now you can see. So this is a collection name, folder name that we have. So within that we have four requests, right? So request one, two, three, four. All all the four requests are executed, and you can see them some uh, name and uh, default report also here, right? So this is how we will run the Postman collection using this CI with the Postman API. So what are the steps that we have to follow? You have to install the Node.js first. After that, you have to install the new man globally. After that, we have to generate the collection UID. So for getting this collection UID, you have to generate the Postman API key. Okay, so that you will generate from here. You have to go to your Postman account to the, I mean, uh, to the any browser, and you particularly go to your uh, profile, and here you will have the option called Postman API key, and you click on the new generate, I mean, API key. So you will be generating some key here. That is the key that you have to use here to get your particular collection ID, right? So you can pass either query param as well as in the header also. Okay, so we have seen uh, both way, right? So the header also we have seen, I have, I mean, I have unchecked this one since we are using this query param. So you will get this collection UID. With this UID, you have to build this URL, okay? So new man run, this is a URL that, I mean, postman API gets. So api.getpostman.com slash collection, collection UID that you have to get. After that, you have to append your postman key. Okay, once this is done, you are good to run your postman collection through the CLA, I mean, uh, through the common prompt. Okay, so there are so many ways uh, you can run your postman collection. So here you can see you can run with your uh, new man. Uh, simply you can type new man run and you can pass your collection JSON file. And after that, you can run with the Docker also and uh, run, I mean, uh, you can integrate with the Jenkins and uh, Travis CA also we can do. So this is one another way where you can run your collection through the with the postman, I mean with the CA, CA with the postman API. Okay. So that's all about this video. If you guys uh, have any any question or any comments, uh, please feel feel free to ask in the comment section. Thank you guys.